When you're managing your apps, you're going to want to use this screen. It contains all apps, which is a full list of all the apps in your account. And then here are the companies in your account. Here we have Acme, which doesn't have any apps on it yet. Lexicon Systems, my company, which has four apps on it. And then Tyrell Corporation, which has one, Electric Sheep, which is, of course, on the Android operating system. So looking at all apps, we have the list, and it gives us the names, some nice icons, but also we have the operating systems. These are all iOS and Android. And it also tells us what company, what organization, these apps are associated with. Acquaint is associated with Lexicon Systems, both the iOS and the Android version. And then these others are associated with an individual. That is, they aren't yet associated with an organization. So there are a couple different views here. We're looking at the list view, but there's also a tile view, which sort of boxes them up in squares with a lot of the same information. And here are the hockey app migrations, that little icon right there. So you can filter on operating system. See all the Android ones, or all the Windows ones. I'm going to go back to the list view because I like that better all the iOS ones, or you can search. If I just, for instance, want the apps that have to do with my book, I can type in chapter, and here they come up. So let's go ahead and add a new app. Pretty straightforward. It wants an app name. It wants a description. And then we have to pick the operating system. And here's where it's important when you're developing cross-platform apps. You have to think in terms of a separate project. It wants to know what project. It doesn't want to know that you have, for example, a Xamarin iOS Android application. It wants to know which particular operating system you're talking about here. So if we have both an Android and an iOS one, even if we're talking native, we have to enter them separately. And so when we tap iOS, we get the platforms that are relevant. We get the, the, the languages that we're talking about, Objective-C Swift, or we can do it in React Native, or we can do iOS and Xamarin. But if we want to do Android, that switches to Java. If we wanted to do it in Windows, oop, it switches to UWP. So I'm going to go ahead and make this an Objective-C Swift app and add the new app. And then it pushes us straight over into the application page that is specific to our application where we can then build, test, distribute, handle crashes and analytics, etc. So I'm going to go back to the previous page so that you can see what happened there. We're on the All Apps page. And I'm going to type in the word My. And here it is. And that's how we manage our apps within Visual Studio App Center.